Hello homeowners, today we're going to talk about the difference between a transfer switch and an interlock kit when it comes to uh, basically backfeeding your panel with a, uh, with a generator. And um, there's a lot of confusion or misunderstanding as to which is which. So I want to cover off on it today and also talk about the costs of both, the pros and cons, and then you can make the decision for yourself. I also have what my recommendation is at the end of this video. So the first thing is uh, an interlock kit or a transfer switch. The main purpose is so that way you can take the generator, feed your panel, and then prevent the power from going back out the power lines to the street and potentially harm someone, one of the, uh, the workers that may be trying to repair the lines because you've got a power outage. So it, it blocks not only the power from coming going out but also from coming in so then once the power is restored in uh, in the case of a uh, a uh, transfer switch that is manual and also in the case of the interlock you'd have to then switch it away from the generator and then go to the uh, the street power so the first thing is is uh, we're going to talk about is the interlock kit and I'm going to show you mine here on the power on the panel be behind me. I've also created a video showing how to install one of these, and I'll link to it up in the corner right now. So let's take you over to the panel. This piece here is the interlock kit. It's very basic. It's a piece of metal that you screw that you pre-drill holes and screw into your panel cover with the panel cover off, so that way you're not accidentally. Uh, screwing through some wires, okay? And so the, the theory behind this thing is is that you're flipping the main breaker off to prevent any power from coming in from the street once they restore power. And then you have to slide this thing up to allow the breaker for your incoming generator power to come in. And then from here, your, your whole panel will be energized unless you decide to flip a couple of the breakers off. So for example, you're probably not going to power your air conditioning with it. I mean, here's my air conditioning. This is a 50 amp breaker and I'm only got a 30 amp breaker coming in from the generator. So you're either going to turn your air off or if you don't trust someone in the house to, to, uh, to do that, to make sure they don't use the air, you can flip it off here just for safety precautions. Okay, so that's an interlock kit. It's very simple. It's a piece of metal that you can install. Less than an hour, you can have this thing up and running there, okay? So now, a transfer switch, we're gonna talk about that. So a transfer switch, I'm gonna put a photo of one right here next to me. Um, you've got two types. You've got the manual that I, I referenced just about two minutes ago and the automatic. Automatic transfer switch is often re referred to as an ATS. So a manual one is just that. You will manually flip the switch, transferring from the street to the uh, generator. Now there's a lot more wiring involved with the, transfer, with the transfer switch. It's a little bit more complicated. The interlock kit, if you're comfortable working around the panel, you can do that yourself. The transfer switch, unless you are an electrician or are extremely experienced in, in working with the electrical panel, it would be a lot more difficult for you to do, so you'd likely have to hire an electrician to do it. Um, the, the transfer switch also will often have the ability to have independent breakers on that transfer switch, so that way you can flip on the various items in your house that you might want to power. Okay, I personally prefer the uh, the uh, interlock kit because I like having all of my uh, breakers at my disposal should I decide to use them. Now that's the manual one. A, an automatic transfer switch is one where it senses that the power from the street is cut off and then it'll then immediately not only s flip the switch to go to generator but it'll turn the generator on for you too. So you'll be sitting in the house, you'll say, wow, the lights just went out, and depending on the delay, a few seconds later, your transfer switch and your generator will both engage, and you'll be switched from the street to your generator power, and your lights will come back on, okay? So that's automatic. 
Now, that is one that I would buy if I were purchasing an expensive whole house generator like, like a Generac that's tied into natural gas and you've got it on a cement pad somewhere next to your house. If you're going to go to the expense of buying a generator that's a few thousand dollars, you may as well continue and do it right and get the automatic transfer switch, the ATS. Now, if, you're, if you don't have that type of a generator and you have a, a, a portable gas generator that you'll use outside when you have a power outage, then I would absolutely recommend the interlock kit like, you showed, like I showed you on my panel. It's a lot less expensive. So for the interlock kit, it could cost you anywhere from $35 to $75, okay? And for the uh, transfer switches, the manual one may cost you maybe $400 or so, maybe a little bit more. The automatic will cost you double that at least, at least double that. You know, $800 or more, uh, maybe $1,200, depending on what you, what you buy for the automatic transfer switch. Now, maybe it's worth it to you to have that convenience and you don't mind paying an electrician to do all that work for you. You're probably going to be up closer to $2,000 to put on the automatic one. But again, if you don't have the automatic, the generator that'll just kick on and you have to go outside, you don't want to anyway to pull start a, a gas generator, a portable gas generator, you may as well, since you're doing it ma that generator manually, you may as well do the manual operation of the, of the interlock kit, okay? So I hope this helped to explain the differences. Maybe this will have, uh, steered you in a direction that that's more definite for you I personally would choose the transfer switch excuse me the uh, the transfer switch yes the automatic transfer switch I've had, I had a whole house generator that was gas uh, hooked to natural gas and if it wasn't that type of generator then I would go with the interlock kit like you saw here on my panel if you have any questions definitely ask me down below in the first pin comment and also and also the description I can I can put a link to what my uh, interlock kit if you're interested I uh, hope you have a great day if you found this to be helpful please hit that like button it helps me too I'll talk to you soon everyone and have a great day